Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. So I'm back, happy new year. I hope you all had a really good end to 2023. Excuse the mess in here. I am just in the middle of, or say in the middle of, I've just finished getting Avery ready for the day. We have a hospital appointment today. We also had one yesterday. So we had um, first and second of January and then the third, all the appointments started back up again. Um, today we have an appointment for um, a trial on a new saline solution for Avery's, Avery's nebulizer, and I feel like I've got quite a bit to catch you up on because after I finished filming or, do you know I'm not 100% sure, I think it was after I finished filming so I wouldn't have mentioned it on camera yet, I actually had a phone call from Avery's paediatrician and this is what I like about talking to professionals that actually know Avery um, because I was able to have a really good chat with her, express all of my concerns, mostly being um, that Avery is just getting so poorly so frequently and every time she gets even the minorest of illnesses, she is in hospital with aspiration pneumonia. And um, we really hashed it out and a lot of what she said actually contradicted what we've been told in the past, which is really frustrating and it just goes to show really that for us talking to kind of a duty doctor or an on-call doctor on the ward when Avery is in there is just absolutely useless because they just don't know Avery's history. They don't, um, they don't know what she goes through and what she tolerates and it's just better to talk to a professional that actually knows Avery and one of the reasons why I like Avery's consultant paediatrician so much is because she was actually the doctor on call or the doctor um, in the emergency department when Avery went into cardiac arrest. So she actually treated Avery um, right at the very beginning of this journey and she has seen her through since. So she's given me a few options, lots of things that we can try, um, which is great because we thought we were out of options. According to the doctors that were on the wards, there was really nothing more that we could do. The first one being what we are trialing today. So it turns out there are actually stronger solutions for her nebulizer. Avery is just on the 0.9% saline and um, you can get higher percentages. Um, which may help break down some of Avery's mucus a little bit better, which would be great for when she's poorly. However, it is less tolerated. Um, sometimes the higher solutions can make um, make you a little bit wheezy. So we actually need to go into the hospital so that she can have um, this nebulizer with the stronger saline and see how she responds to it in a hospital setting before we can actually bring that saline home and use it at home. Um, which is absolutely fair enough. So I'm taking her in today. She's gonna have the nebulizer and then we basically just have to sit and wait for about an hour just to see how Avery responds. If she is fine and um, she doesn't respond badly to it, then we can bring the saline home and we can have that at home, um, especially for when she's poorly. It will just have a little bit more clout in trying to break up the mucus. We talked about um, the patches or medication that helps to dry up secretions because we thought one of the possibilities is that Avery struggles with the amount of secretions that she has. Um, we're on the fence about that one because um, sometimes Avery struggles more when her secretions are thicker and more mucousy um, when she's poorly and essentially what these medications do is dry up secretions so it could have an adverse effect but it could not, we don't know which is why it's something that we're considering trialling. We have been kind of back and forth on the patches with the doctors for a while, the little patches that um, go behind her ear and um, they release the medication into her blood that way. However, her paediatrician feels as though she would prefer to try a liquid medication over a patch for Avery just because you can play around with a liquid dose a lot easier than a patch. Not only that, because the patch is slow release, if you remove the patch, it can stay in the system for a bit longer than um, a liquid medication would. Um, so she wants to try the liquid, however, um, the liquid can't actually be used until she is 12 kilograms and three years old. Um, she's 11 and a half kilograms now, 
um, and 90 centimeters by the way we had her measured yesterday I cannot believe she's almost a meter long do you know what no I can believe it to be fair she is really tall um, but um, yeah so I'd imagine she will probably be 12 kilos by the time she is three years old and then that is then an option for us um, whether or not we do it depends on kind of where we're at then I suppose but that is something that we can try again yeah. it is something that may not work um, it may have the opposite effect, but that is why we're just trying these things. Um, the next thing we discussed was a rescue antibiotic. So a little bit like she has her rescue medication for if she has a seizure. Um, a rescue antibiotic. So she's already on her prophylactic, but this would be an additional antibiotic such as um, amoxicillin, um, coamoxiclav, something like that, that we would keep at home. And when she started to get poorly, when she started to show those signs of catching a cold, uh, you know, runny nose, sneezing, coughing, that kind of thing, um, we can give her the rescue antibiotic to hopefully prevent um, a viral infection turning into a chest infection, a bacterial infection. Because I know, and I, you know, you guys have told me loads of times in the comments, antibiotics don't treat viral infections. I know that. But whenever it gets a viral infection, it's usually followed by a bacterial infection caused by the aspiration onto her lungs. Um, so that is what we're trying to prevent. Um, the next thing I talked about was her prophylactic antibiotic because we don't feel as though it's working anymore. She had a very slight increase in dosage not long ago and we felt like it didn't make the slightest bit of difference. Um, turns out, because she is kind of on the cusp of the way they do kind of um, calculations for doses, she's on the cusp in terms of her weight. So her paediatrician said, let's just go on to the higher end. She's pretty much on that borderline anyway. And we can put the um, prophylactic up to three mil instead of 2.5, three times a week. So we're gonna try that for a while. And if that doesn't work, turns out there is actually a different medication that can be used as a prophylactic antibiotic. Now we didn't know this because we've been asking it for months. If there was something else that we could try, maybe her body's gotten used to the azithromycin. They've always said, no, there's nothing else we could try. Azithromycin's the only one we can use. Turns out there is, according to Avery's paediatrician. The reason why they don't use it as often is because it's less tolerated by children. However, this is Avery. Avery tends to defy the textbook. Um, so again, that is another option. If the higher dose of azithromycin doesn't work, there is something else that we can try. Um, we also talked about having an escalation plan for at home and at hospital. Um, so when Avery starts to get sick, because we've seen a pattern now, we know that when Avery gets sick, no matter what the illness is, usually within a few days, she spikes a temperature. We've had to take her into a hospital, whether it's been because she's had a seizure or just because we're really worried about her. And then we've come to find that she's actually got a chest infection, which is most likely caused by aspiration pneumonia. Um, so we kind of know the pattern now. So having an esca escalation plan of what we can do at home. So it will be kind of things like chest physio, nebulizer, suction, certain positionings, things like that. And it's all kind of things that we do anyway, but her paediatrician said it might be good to have it as an actual written formal document to follow. And um, that way, you know, in the future, if Avery is being looked after by somebody else, maybe in school or I don't know, Little Harbour, then that is something that they can follow as well if they see that she's getting signs of becoming unwell um, until I can get to her. Um, it was actually me that said it would be good to have an escalation plan for hospital as well because, you know, I actually feel as though hospital needs one more than we do because we know what to do, we know Avery, whereas hospitals, they kind of wait for things to go wrong before they fix them, which is what frustrates me, such as the dry oxygen. And I think I've mentioned this before, dry oxygen, when Avery has a chest infection and her sats are low, I'm sorry, am I talking too much? I'm sorry. Is it your turn? Hey. Um, dry oxygen doesn't work very well for Avery because um, it makes her cough and then she can't get her breath in. We've learned this from the last couple of times we've taken her into hospital. And this time round, we asked them straight away if they could give her the vapor therm, which is basically just um, positive pressure with oxygen. And it's also um, humidified, it's wet, it's wet air. 
because it seems to soothe her throat and she benefits a lot more from it. Her, her uh, oxygen levels shoot right back up as soon as she's on that. And the doctor at the time said, well, let's just see how she goes on the dry oxygen. If she still needs it overnight, then we might switch to vapor therm. Lo and behold, within an hour, her sat started dropping. The dry oxygen wasn't doing anything for it and they bought in the vapor therm. Now, if they had have just done that when we asked them to in the first place and just trusted that we know Avery, Avery wouldn't have had to suffer for as long. Um, so that's the kind of thing I would like in an escalation plan in hospital. Things that we know about Avery that will limit the amount of suffering that she has to go through. I'm not sure if there was anything else. I think that was pretty much everything that we discussed, but I feel like those are some really good, um, good things to be able to look into and trial. Um, the referrals have been made to the um, surgical team in Bristol for us to discuss the fund application and the J-tube and all of the more kind of more invasive, longer term things that could possibly help. I think we would like to trial what we can trial before we resort to surgery, but Josh and I are still very um, keen to learn more about the fund application um, because if that is something that could fix this problem forever, then that would be great. I used to be terrified of the fund application and I think I've talked about it on my channel before because I've heard it can have adverse effects on the swallow and sometimes just the way the gut works um, and I was scared it would hinder Avery's um, development in terms of eating. We're at a place now where it really doesn't look like she's going to be eating orally anytime soon. If anything, her swallow has regressed. Um, which is really sad because right at the beginning of Avery's journey, um, a lot of Avery's doctors and therapists asked me, you know, what are the things that are important to me? Eating was always at the very top of my list. I tried so hard to breastfeed her again. We tried with the bottle, we tried with solid foods, which you would have seen through the blended diet um, journey. I used to give her little bits of that orally. And she did really well for a time and then all of a sudden it got bad, she regressed. And the fact that she's been having seizures for this last year as well, it kind of does make sense because regressions can happen with seizures. Um, especially seizures that are over five minutes. I mean, there's, there's nothing to suggest that um, she suffered any more damage to her brain because of those. But all I know is from what I've seen online, um, anything over five minutes um, can start to make its way to having effects on the brain. Now, I'm not a doctor, you guys know that. This is just what I've researched myself. Avery has had seizures for 40 minutes before, and um, there's a lot of things that she was doing before those seizures that, that she stopped doing. Rolling, for example, she was rolling so much every single day. I would turn my back on her for minutes and she had rolled over and then after one particular seizure she stopped doing it for a really long time we don't see it as often now we see her do it now and again but it was nowhere near as much as it was um so yeah we had a really good phone call with the pediatrician so today we're going to take her in for a saline trial it's absolutely chucking it down and um josh actually called me and said you might want to take the car today but especially with this cough I just feel as though it's not a good idea because it's just me in the car and um, I know that she'll be nice and dry under the rain cover or just me that will get a bit wet. Um, but I also want to pop into the White Company because um, I had a very lovely gift card for the White Company for Christmas off Josh and I went in there between Christmas and New Year and I think I was panic buying. Um, there's two things that I bought that I absolutely loved, uh, maybe I'll show you them tomorrow, but I bought a jumper and it was in the sale, it was still very expensive and I never would have spent that much on a jumper if I didn't have a gift card, but now I'm like, do I love it enough to know that that's how much it cost and would I prefer something else more? So I'm actually going to go return the jumper and I think I'm just going to save that money on a gift card until maybe we move and I'm thinking I might um, buy some bedding with it. 
um i've also seen some gorgeous bedding in m s so i think when we move i might treat me and josh to some nice like white company and m s bedding i've still got a little bit left on m s gift cards i could put towards it as well and that would be really nice wouldn't it some nice nice bedding because we've always gone for like b and m bedding like the cheap as you can get need to replace it every six months <laughs> so um it might be nice to actually have some grown-up bedding that I don't need to replace but Avery is all dressed now she is actually wearing the little dress that I bought her from H&M I showed you this um, in a vlog a few weeks ago in terms of filming and schedules I'm still not sure where I'm at yet I just really felt like picking up the camera today because I feel like it's been so long since I actually spoke to you guys um, I mean to you guys I think at this point you will have only missed one upload the last video you would have seen will have been Eli's birth story so I hope you enjoyed that um, so I think yeah there'll be one upload I will have missed which would have been probably the first Wednesday of the year I'm not sure if I'm still gonna try and ease myself back into filming and maybe there might be another gap or, or two in my schedule but I would like to get back to two videos a week I'm not going to lie, it's hard work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to push myself as hard this year as I did last year. Last year I didn't miss a single upload, so that is 104 videos in a year, two a week, every single week, even when I was away. So I really pushed myself last year, but it paid off because I hit my goal, which I'm really excited about. My 5,000 subscribers, which I once again cannot thank you guys enough for. I'm so, so pleased. Um, I also need to sit down and write some goals for this year, which I think might be nice to film as well. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. What do you think? Think about what we're going to do this year. What are we going to achieve this year? Hey? Hey? Who are we going to achieve this year? Uh, we had a lovely time in Wales uh, with my brother-in-law and his family. Um, we do, I say we, Josh and I did see Midnight only because Avery woke up so she she was brilliant the entire time we were there on New Year's Eve she uh, went to sleep and then she woke up urging and threw up everywhere and then after that she wouldn't go back to sleep so that is the only reason Josh and I saw midnight because everyone else was asleep we are those kind of people <laughs> we're normally asleep before midnight um, but our state was really nice. Our trip was really nice up there. It was nice to spend some time with family and fingers crossed Hopefully this half of 2024 we will be living up there, which will be really really exciting uh, My mom leaves this weekend um, Which I'm really excited for her. I am but I Because it's getting closer now. I'm starting to feel a little bit sad about it because I think in my mind I've got, I, I, you know, I'm not going to see her for a few months now and that will be the longest stretch I've gotten without ever seeing my mum. But, you know, we have FaceTime now, which is a beautiful thing. Um, we have phone calls. I'm sure I will speak to her just as much as I do now. I just won't see her physically. Um, but Josh um, and I are going to go with the kids on Sunday and wave her off when she leaves which I think I'll be very sad at that point. I might cry at that point, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'm, I'm really glad she's going. She's going to a new job and we do have family up there. So she's gonna be surrounded by family. So I'm, I'm really happy for her. I'm just starting to feel a little bit sad about it, which I think is normal. Anyway, I am gonna crack on. We have got to sort your feed out. I was gonna try and feed her before I go, but I actually have to go and pick up the saline from the pharmacy on the way, and I also want to return um, this jumper at the White Company. So I'm probably gonna pack up Avery's feed and feed her on the way to the hospital, and then hopefully, if she does a poo, by the time her feed finishes, we'll be at the hospital, so I can change her there. Good plan, hey? It is a fair bit later now. It's now gone four o'clock. Uh, boys are home from school. Josh is home from work. He's up in the bath. Um, hospital appointment went very well. Um, Avery tolerated the saline fine. 
Um, it was the 7% she tried. Um, the doctor said that they would normally do um, a 3% or a 7% and she said we're better off trying the 7% because that way we know that she'll tolerate both the 3 and the 7% instead of trying the 3% and then it not working and then need to come back and try the 7% as well. So um, that went fine. So we've got the new um, saline now and what the doctor said is because um, Avery's paediatrician actually came down to the ward to kind of check her lungs and have a chat with me which was nice um and just kind of went over what we went through on the phone but what she said is to maybe um use the 0.9 percent all the time um as part of like a routine to try and keep her chest clear um and then only use the seven percent when she's actually poorly and she really needs it um so that's probably what we're gonna do isn't it put in um i pinched the mask that they used for her uh, in the hospital because obviously they won't reuse it in the hospital and i just wanted to see if it would connect and fit to the nebulizer we have at home because the mask that comes with the nebulizer that we've got um doesn't it doesn't fit very well in her face it's a bit too big um whereas the mask they use in the hospital is one that we can kind of strap on her face and it will kind of stay so that is kind of what we need but i don't know if um the one from the hospital will fit on the machine we have at home i'll have to check um avery is just having her feed now and uh, actually came home to a lovely surprise <coughs> our lovely subscriber from california has actually sent avery a little christmas present um so i'd imagine <laughs> it's okay put in i'd imagine this probably was at my p.o box before christmas um i'm pretty sure it was and i'm pretty sure i, I had forwarded it before christmas but with the um, uk post it has only just made it to us post tends to run a little bit slower over christmas and new year but that is fine sometimes it is nice getting a delayed christmas present because it feels like you get the excitement all over again doesn't it coffee's still rife as you can tell um it tends to get worse in the evenings and afternoon obviously it's um gone four o'clock now so now is the time that the cough will stop bothering avery um at least we've got that new <coughs> saline to try now at home anyway do you want to open it is this and it does have a little message on it. It says, to Avery from your number one fan, Sally. <laughs> so sweet. You want to open it. You want to open it. This is such lovely wrapping paper. And it's such nice wrapping as well. I don't want to open it, but... <laughs> you want to see what's inside, paper? What's in here? You want to do it? Ready? Avery, do it. Avery, do it. <laughs> oh, look. Look, Putin. It's earmuffs. How sweet. Well, there we go. There we go. Oh, what a lovely thought. Do you like them? Yeah? I will say she will probably grow into them your head is just a little bit too small at the moment isn't it isn't it birds but thank you so so much our lovely subscriber in LA as always it's very very much appreciated and um it's very very sweet that you keep sending things for us isn't it hey it's very sweet it is the next day now. Avery's just had a nice long nap on my lap, haven't you put in? Um, which isn't surprising because she was up at half four this morning. <laughs> and didn't want to go back to sleep, did you? Um, she is in her lovely little tracksuit from um, TK Maxx. I say TK Maxx. Santa bought it for you, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I think she looks adorable in it. Um, anyway. <sighs> I thought now would be a good time to um, show you guys some of the little bits that the kids got for Christmas. I know I've shown you some of it already, like the clothes and whatnot that I've bought for Avery. Um, and I know that you've seen the um, Sensi's adaptable pillow. Um, but some of the things that other people have got for her. Um, this ball, for example. 
I am not sure how well you can see it on camera. Is that your ball? But it lights up and then it's got all of these different sections that feel different for Avery to touch. And she has been enjoying this, haven't you? Hey, you like your ball, don't you? Oh! That one, um, Avery's Nana and Bampa bought for her, Josh's mom and dad. This elephant, which I absolutely love, my mum bought for her. And oh. once again, Avery really loves this one. And he walks around and he moves and he makes noise. Who's that? <laughs> Like your elephant and again he's got a really lovely texture um so it's nice and sensory for avery oh you've got him you've got him similarly oddly enough um josh and i actually got her this one this is the dog from any magic and the reason we bought her this is because she responds really really well to the oh. advert for it on tv so we bought it for her and what we've been doing is giving Avery the lead to hold. There you go. Oh. And then you walk your doggy, don't you? Hey? Yeah. Where's he gone? Make him go that way. What's he doing? So that is another one that she loves and nice because it almost feels as though she picked it because she responded really well to the advert. This one was a gift from Avery's uncle and auntie in Wales and once again she loves this as well and to be honest it's given us all a few laughs over the new year hasn't it? funny. <laughs> Again, something that Avery absolutely loves. Josh and I find it incredibly creepy, don't we? We haven't quite figured out how you actually get it to work. It just seems to, oh, there we go. <laughs> you like him, don't you? He seems to work off his own accord, but essentially it's just meant to look like a fuzzy ball until it starts working and then a little pet appears from the inside. and. Yeah, Josh and I find it very creepy. Daddy and I find it very, very creepy, don't we, Pudding? But you like him. You like him because he's all fuzzy and fluffy and he talks to you. <laughs> and then I've mentioned this before, but this is another advert that Avery responded really, really well to. My mum bought this and these are the Sky Dancer dolls. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you like it though, don't you? Are you waiting? Okay, I'm going to have to show it now. I feel like they are just a tad um, dangerous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, Avery loves it. Ready? Are you trying to get her? Good reaching. Do you want her to go? Ready? Steady? <laughs> so Avery really really loves it but we just have to be really careful what way we aim it we have to make sure we aim it away from any people <laughs> or the TV Avery actually had a physio appointment this morning which I forgot about because I didn't get my 2024 calendar until like yesterday or the day before and I'd forgotten to write the appointment in the calendar from a text um, but the appointment still went ahead but I was showing her that and I hit her with it the uh, doll flew into her face. <laughs> she said it didn't hurt, luckily. Um, but yeah, we just need to be a little bit careful with that one, as much as you love it. Hey, Pud. Um, but those are some of the things that Avery got for Christmas. As you guys know, she also got a lot of clothes and she got a few other bits and bobs and toys as well. She was a very spoiled, lucky girl. You also got a big box full of lush bath bombs, didn't you? Yes, you did. So we are slowly going through those in her bath. You were a very spoiled girl. Um, a couple of videos ago, I did kind of um, share the few bits that 
a couple of videos ago I did share what I got for Christmas. Um, some lovely pieces of jewellery, some nice gift cards. Yes, I did, didn't I? Um, I did return my jumper to the white company yesterday and I actually think I'm going to buy pillows instead. Um, just because their pillows just seem really nice quality. I was having a good look at them yesterday. My um, dilemma though is do I go for standard size pillows or do I go for the super king size pillows? Um, Josh and I would normally have a king size bed. But what if we don't always have a king size bed and then the pillows would end up being too big for the bed. But then I also really like the idea of having king size pillows. So I don't know. I mean they are like goose and duck down though so I suppose I can always squish them in a little bit if they are a little bit too big for the bed. But I think I'm going to get pillows and then I did also go on to M&S and just eye up the bedding that I would like to buy because... I, I I know I know the bedding that I want. It's it's a particular range. I think it's called I can't remember the range exactly. It's called Fire something, but it's a range and it's like this washed cotton bedding and it just looks really really nice. So um, I know what I want to buy. Luckily the gift card um, lasts for a year, but the White Company have their sales on at the moment. They're after Christmas sales, so I'm probably gonna order the pillows sooner rather than later the boys main presents this year were their gaming chairs they got x rocker gaming chairs marley does have one also his is a little bit bigger and it has arms but he's taking that home to his mum's where he'll get more use out of it um these are zach and eli's and they fit perfectly on them so those were their main presents those were their gifts from santa and uh, my mum actually bought this for Eli because this is what he asked for. He asked for some kind of organisational unit where he could um, separate all of his Lego pieces. Um, if you watched a few videos back, Eli worked really hard at separating all of his Lego pieces by colour. And now he has some bins to organise it. And I do actually quite like these drawers. I think they look really sleek. And I also like that we can put Zach's um, switching games up here. It just frees up a little bit of space on their uh, drawers here even though they still look quite cluttered. They also had some arcade style games and they had a few other bits and bobs as well. They had a few um, Xbox games. Zach asked for some Dragon Ball Z figures from my mum so he got some. Um, they've all had some pyjamas. They had tons of chocolate. They were very very lucky lucky spoilt boys so I would definitely say we all had a lovely Christmas. We were all very very spoilt. Um, Josh actually got an oculus for Christmas. Um, Marley's got one and Marley's been bringing it down with him the last couple of times he's been to stay with us and Josh really enjoys playing on it. So um, uh, a few months ago I decided that I was going to get him one for Christmas since he really enjoyed going on Marley's. Um, so yeah, he has been like a big kid at Christmas, uh, pun intended. Just looking forward to getting into sort of the routine of the new year. Um, really hoping our plans for the year work out. I still need to sit down and go through all of my goals for 2024. I've already got a few in mind. I think I might actually leave that to the next video though because I think I'm going to close this one out here. Leave it on the shorter side just to ease myself into uh, filming and editing again. Like I said, I would like to take a little bit more of a relaxed approach um, to YouTube this year. Um, I still aim for two videos a week but I'm not going to put so much pressure on myself to do it just because you know two videos a week it's filming two videos a week it's editing two videos a week it's making two thumbnails it's uploading them it's replying to comments and as much as i love speaking to all of you guys it does take an awful lot of time um with avery going to nursery especially since this year i'm like going to be starting to leave her at nursery it does free up a little bit of time which is good um i say good it's good and also incredibly nerve-wracking because of leaving her at nursery but I know she will do well um, but I'm hoping there'll be lots of exciting things coming our way this year fingers crossed um, but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video once again I hope you all had an incredible new year and uh, I will see you guys in a few days with another video bye guys